favorite shows is The Secret Garden. You know this about me. The Secret Garden, um, I, saw, I saw the national tour a long time ago, and they had almost like um, a Baroque style art at certain points when it referenced the garden and how the garden bloomed. There was a huge reveal in the second act when Mary finds the key, opens the door to the garden, and you're left with just the, the door opening in this beautiful ray of light coming out. Like you can tell there's something magical back there. But then there's a second reveal when it reveals the garden come to life in the book when the, when the garden comes the spring and all the flowers are blooming and the secret garden has come to life. It, the scenic design took over the entire stage. There was a, a proscenium arch that was fully, fully designed art. And there were a bunch of drops and flats and it was just every aspect of the stage. The, the, that's the first time I've ever seen a set or a design get a standing ovation. Just when the curtain came up and the lights came up, the audience stood up and applauded. We, got, we were crying. We were crying because of design. And partly the story set us up to feel so much about the design because we weren't just feeling it about the set. We were feeling it about the garden and the characters and all that. But um, scenic design can be so powerful. That, that's one of my favorites. At the same time in the show, there was so much darkness in the first act, so many different um, like muted dark greens and grays and blacks and browns that you could feel the oppression of the first act. And that's what made the reveal of the garden re representing life and joy and color and youth and all of that was so powerful when it came. That's the first time I really experienced scenic design being a character in a show. I love it for that reason. Thank you.